Hi everyone and welcome back. How are you guys today? Because I'm so excited to act like today we're back with something that honestly I am actually like really excited about. Look, today we're here with the TXT reaction and between you and me this is something I have genuinely been really excited about getting to do. Now I do want to put it out there that unfortunately I don't know much about this album. I I want to say the only thing that I've actually seen in regards to it is going to be like the promo photos and even then I'm not 100% sure because there were a couple of pictures that like the creator used for their lyric videos that I have not seen and I don't know if they they're in regards to the comeback like if they're images from it or if there's something else I have no idea now I did mention in our last video that I haven't really been on social media much and I have been trying to avoid literally like anything that has to do with this comeback now I know a few things here and there just because I do follow um like TXT translation accounts on Twitter and I know that when this album is very important to them I want to say the first song was either like Subin's favorite or maybe Bumkies, I'm not really sure. But aside from that, unfortunately, I just, I don't know much else. So honestly, any information you can give me in regards to this album, I would really, really appreciate. Obviously, as I scroll and as I look, I will find things on my own, but anything that you can give me, I, like I said, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, but yes, look, I, I have no idea what we're getting into. I've heard this album is amazing. Um, but other than that, like, I, I guess we're just going to get into this. Now, we only have five songs to listen to today, and I am putting it out there before anybody comes at me. And if you come at me, I'm going to put you right back here. I did, excuse me, excuse me. I did not include Blue Spring in this. I've heard it twice. I, I like, I obviously heard it twice in concert. It was beautiful and I loved it. And to be honest with you, at the moment that this album came out, I listened to it. I looked up the lyrics. I listened to it. I love that song dearly. And it is just, it's everything. It is beautiful and perfect. And I'm really, really happy that it was included on this album. So that is why it is not in here. Again, if you skip this, I'm going to put you back there. So just please note that. Um, but yeah, like I said, five songs. We are doing this. Now, the first one is going to be for Growing Pain. Um, after that, we are getting into Dreamer. Following that is Deep Down. After that song is Happily Ever After. And then we are ending everything off with Skipping Stones. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really, really nervous. I'm really nervous. And I am loving these pictures. Like, I really, really love these pictures. Obviously, these pictures have been edited, but they are beautiful. Um, also, yeah. Lyric videos. <laughs> lyric videos. I I know people hate lyric videos. I fully understand that. Unfortunately, I am the type of person that I just, I like to know at least a basic understanding of what I'm listening to. I've used this lyric channel in the past and they're pretty accurate. I have no idea if they're going to be accurate. Please note that I know these boys well enough to know their voices. So in that aspect, I, I don't really need help on. But obviously, if there is mistranslations, I may not know. And I just, if anyone knows, please let me know. But I do ask that you're nice about it um, when you do let me know. Um, but yeah, that that is essentially it. I'm going to stop talking because I feel like I'm rambling. And we're going to get into this album and I guess see what happens. Um, So yeah, let's Let's go ahead and do this and see where it goes. Let's do this. Let's go. What? <laughs> I don't know about anybody else who has not also been like trying to avoid everything, but I I was not expecting. This is the first song off of the album. I was not expecting a, a, a what rock what what shh, shh, shh. it's fine. I'm fine. I really should have brought water, but I didn't because I'm dumb. I am fine. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my god, <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm obsessed. Shut up. this i love this as someone who has been a fan of txt for the past i don't even know how many years at this point i have never heard them do a song like this and i am obsessed granted yes they have touched on like i guess like rock type aspects in the past but there is nothing that is to this extent i am literally i am shedding tears what is happening Oh my god, I feel like my brain is shutting down. I'm fine. You're fine. It's all fine. We're good. Everything is fine. We're good. Okay. fine you're fine it's all fine we're okay Shh. hold on i am overwhelmed <laughs> i am really overwhelmed right now it's fine though i'm fine it's okay i'm not gonna cry again
happen? I am so overwhelmed right now. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm actually happy no one warned me. I'm I'm actually really happy that no one warned me. I got I cr I cried. I literally had a tear fall from my eye. What is wrong with me? What? I'm so sorry. I had a sneeze. I cried. I cried. Okay. Taking that out of the, the equation, this song. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I look I I what words? TXT's discography is honestly really really good. Like I I genuinely don't understand why I, I I feel like some people are a little hesitant to get into their B-sides and just just their music in general. I've I've witnessed that and it doesn't actually make sense to me. But can you can, can, can you guys imagine how crazy this song is going to be in concert? How incredible it is going to be. I am overwhelmed. I am not okay. I really love this song. I love the tone in which we heard. I what words the the, the message of the song, but I am not I am not well. I am not okay. I am really hot right now. I'm really hot right now. But it's fine. It's fine. Listen, we're all fine. You and me, we're fine. It's cool. That's the first song off of the album. That is the first song off of the album. Oh my god, these photos. Okay, 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 okay. Where are these photos from? Where where are these photos from? I need you to tell me because because I haven't really been into social media a lot over the past couple of months. It just I it I, I can't. I what? Where where are these from? Where are they? <sighs> I'm fine. You know what? It's late. It's late. I need to calm down. It's almost midnight. I need to get it together. What is happening? <laughs> okay, it's fine. You know, it's fine. I got it. We're good. We're good. I got this. We can do this. We're getting into Dreamer. I'm... What? It's fine. Shh. It's fine. Shh. Okay, we got this. We can do this. Let's do this. Let's go. whiplash between the last song and this very much whiplash but that honestly that just shows you how good they are how versatile they are with their music I don't like I don't know how what better way to show that than the two songs in which we listen to and we're listening to now but oh my god oh my god Oh, my God. 
Why does he have to say it like that? Why does he have to say it like that? I feel almost mesmerized right now. Like I genuinely felt like I I was just like it was it was hypnosis. Like their voices, their voices. Are you kidding me? I oh god, this album is perfect. Listen, I haven't even finished a song. I haven't even finished the album, but I'm telling you, this album is perfect. Like I what are you? What are what is happening? I'm fine. Listen, it's fine. I, it is late. I am, I, I, what? I'm struggling, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any water either. So, yeah. That change in key. I can't. I can't. I am struggling. I am struggling. It's fine. You're fine. We're fine. let me break it down for you and it kind of like wind out in the song over, <laughs> song over after we got a song like that are you actually kidding me listen listen txc's discography is honestly it's it's beautiful as i said their music is crazy i i feel like honestly they they make music for really any kind of mood because their discography is is really diverse in my opinion and i love that i love that so much getting to witness some of that live in front of me two different days it was it was amazing and i am forever grateful for that but oh my god i'm not gonna lie to you this song, and I know this sounds bad, and please don't come at me because with lyric videos, sometimes it's not a super analytical reaction. I was incredibly mesmerized, and I feel like I didn't pick up on a lot of lyrics. I genuinely don't feel like I picked up on a lot of lyrics. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm not gonna bullshit some, like, oh, the lyrics were this, the lyrics were that. I feel like I didn't see any of the lyrics. I really don't. So there is that. So yes, but I am obsessed. I am actually obsessed with the way this song sounds, the way that it made me feel, the way their voices sound. Oh my God. Oh my God. The small switch in just like the key of a piano that you would get every so often when it went from one member to the next, the guitar in the background, this, oh, this feel is everything. Are you actually kidding me right now? I like I'm 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 honestly I'm in love. I am in love with this album so far and I I am really excited but also really nervous to continue because what's going to happen like I feel like we have gotten two different very like very obviously very very different feels from them and where else is this going to go like are we are we, is, it, is deep down going to be a happy song? Is it going to be more in your feels? I don't know. I've already cried once. I don't really know if I, if I, if I, if I want to cry again, I don't want to cry again. Let's just put that out there now. So yeah, but you know what? It's fine. Listen, we got this probably. I keep saying that because hopefully it'll sink in and I will be okay. Just so y'all know, um, fake it till you make it. Um, but yeah, anyway, 
I'm gonna stop talking. We got this. We are gonna get into Deep Down and oh god, see what happens. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like this is already going to be a very uplifting song just based off of what is happening right now. The little beeps in the background reminded me of, and I know that it's obviously, it's not the same like Morse code. It's not even in the same kind of pattern or the same sound, but it reminds me of their questioning films from like back, like, like what was it, pre-debut? That reminded me of that, but it, Yeonjun's opening right here. Oop, I, I hit, I, I don't know what button I hit. This. The horns definitely sprouted and I felt ashamed. It reminds me of what was it? Um, it's not, oh God, what is it? Why can't I remember? Oh no. Oh no. Titles have just completely lost my head. Lost, left, left my head, not lost my head. What? It reminds me of their storyline, but the one envy that I, for some reason, can't remember. Why are words hard today? I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. It reminds me of that. So yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Let's do this. Oh, gosh. This This like almost like, like he has like almost like um like a sadness in his voice. It feels very vulnerable, and I actually really like that. I really like his tone right there. want to interrupt i didn't want to interrupt first of all this song is already very sweet it's a, it's sad don't get me wrong there are some sad elements in this but it is it is sweet in nature but i am obsessed i am obsessed with this type of feel are you actually like, are you actually kidding me i love this like there are i feel like very few songs in k-pop as a whole that have this type of feel to me this type of effect on me and I am telling you, there's something so special to me about songs that feel like this. And I know it sounds weird, especially if you haven't watched, like, any kind of, like, past reactions with me, whether it be, like, for, like, girl groups or boy groups. Like, if you haven't seen things with me or you don't really know, like, my musical taste, I, I get it, it might sound weird. But there's something about this type of feel of song that I am obsessed with. I am telling you... I love it so much and I look from the beginning like I said I felt like it was going to be like in a more upbeat song just based on the melody that we were already getting at the start and then it changed but it I don't know it didn't take as drastic of a change that I was anticipating it to but it's perfect it's genuinely perfect and I love it shut up I gotta want to go back don't come at me I'm going back oh my god Ooh. 
Okay, there's the, the lyrics in here are reminding me of the past, but his one his voice, but also this lyric. I tried running words hard. I tried running away and ignoring it, but fate is so cruel. This is very, very true. But Bonkyo's voice. His voice. First of all, I've always had this kind of like underlining issue with Bungu. Like, if you have been here with me since the beginning of my TXC journey with what I don't even know how many years ago it has been at this point but you know like especially like at the start of this like I've always had like Subin but I always knew that there was going to be another bias in there and everyone and I mean everyone thought it was going to be Bumgyu and I love Bumgyu dearly but like he only like comes at me like every so often I feel like over the past year and a half it's gotten worse but his voice right now in this album is everything like it is absolutely everything i am i'm i'm, I'm, I'm hello i am obsessed i am obsessed with the way that he sounds but i i really do like that lyric i really do like that lyric because unfortunately it's actually really really true it's fate is very cruel to many people <laughs> short song in my opinion granted yes it was almost three minutes but still but still I honestly I, I honestly this song could go on probably forever and I I would never get tired of it as I said earlier like there's a certain feel that I, I feel like I come across every so often I feel like it's very rare like I could name probably three songs from different artists off the top of my head that make me feel the way that this song has made me feel and I don't know if it stems back to like my love to like EDM music and like festivals and stuff like that. that that type of beat I don't know it just it makes me happy I I don't really know how to explain it because if someone doesn't really know what I'm talking about it, it like I said it's gonna sound very odd but there's I don't know, there's a certain comfort that that brings to me and I love that I love that so much and like I said even though this song is sad like there are many sad elements to this song it also has this beautiful sense to it as well. This, I don't know, love, this beauty, this need for this person. And it, it, I don't know, it feels like a declaration in certain instances, but like I said, it still feels sad. And I don't know, they have such a beautiful way of turning something that could be incredibly heartbreaking into being almost like a love song. And I love that. I love that so much. And God, they sound amazing. They sound amazing in that. And even though like I like I was anticipating a bigger drop in that, I'm quite happy that it went the way that it did, that it, it, it felt slightly pulled back, but it still still what words? Still it still felt right. It flowed beautifully and I'm just I'm so happy with that song. Oh my god. <laughs> 